Hello. I need with the out. No, no, that you don't. This is fine, sir. Coach, coach, can you hear me, coach? No, here you can hear. No? There uh -huh. you can. Sir, I think you are one wrong side. Coach, can no, you hear me? Yeah, I hear you very well. You hear me too? Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, have I uh, have I make uh, joined with a computer audio? That because I want to see screen. I can do this. No, no audio. You cannot. You should not put on. Ah, uh, not not okay. Good. Okay, very good, very good. Now I see screen. Okay, very good. Good. Oh, there are people coming, 41.
<laughs> Talk your shit. I think we can, we can start. Ankush. Two minutes, we'll start, Coach. Two minutes. Mm -hmm. We can start, Coach. Okay. Hello, everybody. Good, good evening. Uh, today we have a new topic, and then, as I say yesterday, that we will uh, today speaking about modern basketball. And then, when we want to talking about uh, what uh, change a game, that is uh, first of all we have to talk about. Uh, Basket, basketball is a very dynamic game, but basketball is a game what almost every four years change the rule. And a lot of, uh, lot of uh, revolutionary changing rules, what the change a game, that is uh, 94, we are bringing a three-point shot. And that was a very big and revolutionary point, what a uh, long time we didn't know how to use on the proper way, how is... Uh, value of the three points and then step by step now three points is one of the most important parts of the basketball game another changing that is uh, happened after the Sydney Olympics from a 30 seconds 
we are moved to the 24 seconds. And then also, this uh, also change uh, the change game. And another that we had in 2017, that is a lot of changes when we want to speed up the game. That is a change with a zero step, with a, with a jab step that allows not, that is not really changes, but it is uh, something what uh, really want to speed up the game. And then also on the way today that every, everything in a, this global world, in the globalization have to be fast. We are lucky now that we have Corona or we are bad luck because now every, everything come down. That is, a, that is a good point that every, every of us can analyze. That is, a, that is the same thing what basketball doing. Basketball going on the way they are speed up much more game to offense will be uh, to give a offense more advantage than defense and uh, to this way make a game more attractive. Uh, I, I remember I was a witness that we have a result in a Europe 40, 42, 41, uh, that is uh, 40 points. Coaches control the game, do not, not, not let the game to, to develop. And uh, now, when, when, when coming 24 seconds and then everything was coming changes, basket, basketball game changed. And then what I want to tell now when we are talking, that is... Uh, very important that we understand what's happened, what's happened, and how we can involve this on the, every level of the basketball. And then have to be uh, involved on the every level of the basketball because this global world, they are push us and give opportunity that we have information. And we are very much connected all around and we have uh, all information what's happened about all parts of the life, but especially what is now important that we have information about the basketball. And then what is a modern, uh, modern time, that is IT revolution, there involve uh, computer science uh, in our life. That is, uh, we can analyze everything, we have a very fast information, and that is the same story what's happening in the basketball. That is analytics, they are take a very important part of the basketball. That is what I talked yesterday about, uh, that we have to going from a full hole method to the part and then back to the full hole method. We have to make a big picture. To make a big picture, we have to make uh, analyze. To analyze everything what is important in a basketball. Today I want to spoke, speaking about uh, scouting report because when you are playing against somebody you have to know about opponent you have to analyze opponent and then new technology help us that we can analyze that is uh, uh, to analyze by statistics or to analyze by by uh, by video analyze that we have uh, enough uh, number of the games from opponent will be good that is uh, that is the three games, last three games that we have that we can analyze. Or in a, some young level, if you are playing some tournament, you will, you will, uh, you are record the game of the opponent and then coach have to make analyze to help a player because uh, you need to be organized. Your player has, uh, expect from you that you are organized and then on the, this direction, you help to help them to play easily, easily game. You are expect from them to give a hundred percent. How will give a hundred percent when you are prepared? And you will prepare with the information. Very important. How much information we will give the player? We have to learn the team to receive information. That is uh, another very important step. That you are uh, uh, learn your team, your player how they will receive information, that you are not to give so much information, and then that you are not to give so less information, that you are learning how to give a proper, proper information. Then uh, I will give a just example. That is the uh, first game what we play this year, that is uh, against Bakrin. We, we scout the team. We have a good opportunity because 15 days before the play game, 
they play some tournament in Jordan and then from this tournament we can reach a lot of information about the team and then now uh, you will see on the screen how it look like one scouting report that is the paperwork what's first going to the coach and after that we will give to the player you can see here that is the content that is on the this you can see in the first page there say a roster of the team that is a roster with a picture that everybody can see picture with the number of the player later on down you will see you will see uh later that is here you will see player on the which position position one position two position three position five that is a substitute and possible rest of the player what's playing at it with a with a with a very important information how somebody tall how is uh, old that we know experience experience of the of the player that is the first information another can you come back to the top no no to the top to the top to the top second one is a statistics from a game uh, today we, we can find the statistic and one part what i want to talk that is a statistic and if you have a time we will talking how how to make a statistic you have a, a statistics program what what we what we can easily easily take another thing uh, is a structure of the game offensive and defense defensive structure of the game and then that is a man to man set play what what to play against man to man what play against zone uh, out of the bound that is the baseline set line and then some specific things what have to go go second go to the second page good second page and hey, now you have a little bit little bit more about every player and then what is important to player because uh, maybe they are play maybe didn't play that can see the picture of them with a more precise precise information go up that is that is the main player uh, what is a player what play outside and that is what player what play inside that is sometimes you are play with a four outside player and one inside sometimes is a five out sometimes is a three two that is a, which system of the game they are, they are used that we can see the player and then some specifics of them you are see 10 points two that is rebounds assist from an outside player from a main player from an inside player same situation go up next that is a total statistic what is important when we are see total statistic we we can see from a games because here is a is a lot of games we will find the main player and then over the statistics i tell what is uh, what is uh, how we can learn something from a statistics from a statistic we have to see who shoot three point shot who shoot and how many team shoot for uh, three point shot which player is what take most attempt from from a three point shot another story we will looking about a free throw shot free throw shot what player shoot most of the free throw shot that meaning that is uh, some aggressive player what's going offense rebound what going what going to the to penetrate and then what is important to see who play most of the minutes how many player play most of the minutes that we can see with the, how many player they are play if you somebody play 35 minutes he is uh, not cha change if somebody play 15 or 20 minutes he is a substitute and she he share the time time with the opponent that is uh, some very important to make uh, some big picture about the team go next that is a uh, comparison when we want to compare that is uh, some points for a comparison how much points score from a fast break how much what is the percentage for a two points what is a percentage for a three points what is a, what is a free throw percentage that is a statistical things what we can see from a, this one next and now it's a game game what they play and then 
when they are losing, how many points they are scored, when winning, how many points scored. And then usually, when you are looking for a statistic, it's very important if you are uh, going league, player is not the same home and away. If you are playing home, you are more courage, and then some players play better. And then when you are compare statistic when play on the way, there can be a big difference between, between these two points. That is also very important that we are also team. When play home, is a more courage when play on the way that, is, uh, that will be different. Go, go next. That is, that is very important. I, I know Pradeep told me when we are looking about this, Pradeep, my, uh, my assistant coach, said, coach, look back in, not to shoot from a corner. They are not shoot three-point shot from a corner. And now I can tell we lost the game with a three-point three point shot. Sometimes statistic is good, but you need to follow statistics. I just said <laughs> this point, but if you are compared on this one, you will see they are not shoot too much from a corner and they are not good from a corner. They are much better when you are shoot from a top of the perimeter. And then statistics also not good for a three point from a corner too. But that is something what you, what you have to analyze, that you are prepared for a different type of the player. Go next. That is a simple game statistics. And then you can take a couple games of the statistic and then then after that, uh, after that, from C, from a game to game, to watch, to have a good uh, guideline, what what happened? Uh, what happened? Go next. That is important. Now will coming set statistic leader statistic. That is you have here. Most of the time, one player playing a team. That is very important. You are see player number one, 33 minutes. Player number eight, 29 minutes. Player 21, 26, 26 minutes. Another side is a point. 21, they are score 15.8. Number three, score 10.2. Number one, score 9.2. Who is the best player for a two-point shot? You see, this one take a 5.8 attempt from a 10.7 attempt. Lot of attempt under the basket. That is a foreign player. American player would play for a for a Bahrain team. Another one, take a five attempt and you see percentage of him. And number six, that is a show attempt of him. Another story is a three-point shot. What is uh, today very important. And then you will see from this. One take a five attempt, another take four, another take a four attempt. That is a lot of attempt. And then we need to focus on the, this player when we are ready to play game. Go up. Next. That is rebound. No, no, no. A rebound. You have a rebound. Who is the best rebounding? rebounder? You see player from 11.5. And here we couldn't do. We have to offensive and defensive rebound. And then you will see what is the player who is the make most of six. Is this when he's a penetrate or, a, or a give a last pass before the scoring. And then we have to know. And then we need to, to compare go up and that is fast break fast break points how many points they are scored from a fast break that is and then what is a player what's running in a fast break what's the player what's running in a fast break number 14 number four number 17 that is a player what usually ready to run in a fast break another one information is the posting up player who play under the basket and then you see he's playing on the left left block. And what will you do from this left block? Another one, right block, fake up and and do something. Another one, right block, face up to the basket, and then play one on one. That is what is very important. And we are talk. What is a change game? Modern basketball. I will talk later. That is a pick and roll. Pick and roll game change of basketball. Completely changed. After the 2000, pick and roll, now I, I told that we had a result 40, 50. And then when we are involved, pick and roll in a game, 
that is a game between two players, but it's not only game between players. That is a two player in action, but all other they have a proper spacing and help help. That is uh, something what really help. You have here pick and roll ball handler. That is a player with the ball. And then who is the player in uh, this action? You have a high pick and roll, high high pick and roll. That is this pre player. That is a ball handler. What usually play. That is very important information. Another information is a screener. That is a player what's coming in a pick, and after that will a roll after the pick, pop out or a roll to the basket. That is, that is a high pick and roll, high pick and roll, high pick and roll. Cutter. Next, who is the player who cut, who cut to the ball from a set of offense? Who has a habit to cut, to cut, to cutting, and then off board? They are player what usually. It's ready to going for an offensive, offensive, offensive rebound. And then you have a lot of information. You have to analyze information and to be ready what information you want to give to the, your player. Go, go up. Next. That is here. You have a style of the game of the team. Transition. And that is what I'm talking about, Sacramento. 2.8 till the middle. How many players is the front of the ball? Over the court, very important part that you are know how you will how you, you need to stop them. You need to stop transition. I will talking about transition later on. Inside game, what is a player? What is uh, difficult for us who play under the basket or some small player? They will posting up and then play, and then pick a game that is uh, how they are how they are. The, how they are organized in a game. Play style in a defense, go up. Transition defense. Who is late in a defense? How? They are going offensive rebound and then how running back. That is a very important information that we are know. If you are somebody slow, come back, we have to attack them in a fast break. That is a important information that we know which which speed of the game we, we will take. That is important that coach know. Coach have create speed of the game of the, of the own team. And sometimes when you are playing on the way, you will try to force fast break, but not every time. Sometimes you have to play a little bit, control the basketball, that if you, your player take a fast shot, home team will be playing in the back and that can be a problem. Because that is all information can help us that we are make our style of the game. Post up, post up defense, how will uh, guard under the basket and how will help under the basket. And then last one is a pick and roll. How will, uh, will guard in a pick defense? That is a pick and roll. Pick and roll can be in the middle, can be in the side, can be from a, from a middle, middle uh, side middle. That is a 60 degree. And then can be in a corner, in a corner pick and roll. They are giving information how we'll guard because pick and roll can be played on the different way. That is very important information now about the team. And now we have a set play against man to man defense, how offensively they are played. And do you have that is not very rich team? That is, they have a play number one, number two, number three. That is, screen the screener play. And you can see number one dribbling to the side to make a pick for him. In the same time, they are exchange a three, three exchange with the number four, and number three after that coming and play pick and roll. That is, a, that is a one of the often. And we have to know, and we have to, and we have to prepare in a practice that we have information how we will, how, how we will organize in a, every screen, how we are, that we are use our advantage against against uh, advantage of the offense or to use a disadvantage if you have some disadvantage that some player can more help that is a uh, example go, go ahead go ahead go ahead that is the same they have after that after that that is a high pick and roll if what you are seeing that we will talking later about this high pick and roll go up that is UCL cut. 
that is a terminology what we are talking before. We have a terminology, cross screen. That is a cross screen. That is a English, but that is a basketball English. What you have to learn. Go, go up. That is a sideline out, sideline out of the bound. That is a 14 second play or baseline, baseline out of the bound. That's coming. And then you have to know that is B, B, baseline, B, O, B, that is a baseline out of the bound, S, O, B, sideline out of the bound. That is, a, that is a terminology what, what you need. And also you have to have in a, your uh, arsenal of the offense, defense, something like this. Go next. That is individual. That is, we will, we will put the player and we'll tell what we had before, what he will doing offensively, what he is doing uh, defensively, and on the right side, against him, what individually we have to do or team what we have to do. Let him, not let him, that is. And then you have about the main player, what's play about it. That is the first page and that is, uh, that is the last page. Okay, I think that is, uh, that is enough about uh, scouting report. Now we are going uh, video, video scouting report. That is the uh, next. That is, uh, Ankush, put the video scouting report. We are not going too much. That is, uh, that is the part of the, this, what you, are, what you saw here. That is, and then we are concentrate, same. You have a picture of the team and then scouting report. And that is the player again. And then we will do this in a meeting before the game. And then you have a player to can see face of him, to see number of him. That is individual. I will tell now, uh, team, they have to come in, but we are used now to show only individual characteristic of the player. That is the last part. What we are talking about last part, see, 54. Left, left side penetration, go for a jump shot. Again, same player, 54, one dribbling shot. He liked to shoot after the dribbling. And two times he shoot from a left hand. Again, go left, back to the middle. Open three, open three point shot, he liked to take. And then you have to shoot. Third time he's going left. Third time, that's meaning his advantage is to going to the left. Look, again, left, shut. We have to help when he is going to the left. We need to more. Again, he is going left. And they are shoot. And there, your player have to understand. Again, left and go, go, go to shoot. That is individual characteristics, individual characteristics, characteristics of the player. Most of the time, he is going after the dribbling, going in a shot. And then you will see what is very important. You will see defensive part. That is the offensive part of him. Continue. It's not a problem. And then after that, you will see defensive part. Again, he dribbling right, back to the left, and make a shot. That's completely meaning that every time when shoot or do something, he is mostly going, going to the left. And he has a three-point three point range. I'm waiting now that you, you have to see what he is doing defensively. Look, very aggressive player, make a pressure on the ball. We, are, we, we will really scare about that our point guard will be in a problem because he is very aggressive in a defense. Very aggressive. Look, he is coming. He is not let the player to... Too easy dribbling a ball. Not easy to come in offense. And then we need the help from uh, that not every time our main player will be in a position to dribbling a ball that have a, have a help about this. Okay, that is enough, Ankush. We are going to the next step. That is, uh, that is information. Information, and we have to give uh, uh, information that is analytics. We have to make uh, analytics about, uh, about the player, but all together, when we are talking about uh, basketball, we have to be informed that we know what we are looking, what we are looking, 
about this big page, a big, a big picture that we are need to looking what is what is the new. And then I can tell from my point of view that is uh, when we are when we are follow uh, top level of the basket or follow world championship, top European league, we can say that around 2000 European ba basketball start to be ahead of the NBA basketball. NBA basketball, they have an own style, didn't have a too much international players, and then play on own style of the game. They have a very heavy player, game was uh, not very fast, they are start to be not very attractive, and then uh, I was a part of the Serbian national team 2001-2002. 2002, if you remember, Coach Zoran, Coran Zoran said that uh, Serbia was the five-time world championship. I have a very big, uh, how can I say on the English? I was a part of the team in a 2002. Coach Pesic, we are working in the same club, and I, and I was 2001 and 2002 part part of the Serbia Serbia national team, and then 2002 we won against the dream team and then 2000 2004 in the olympics american dream team in olympics what is usually a world championship they are bring a little bit younger team what will be in the future be star but actually all time that is all star player 2004 they are came with the best team with the iverson they are came in a, in the olympic games and also, they lost the game. In 2006, World Championship, that is in Japan, also, they are coming in a some team. And that was a signal that something had to be changed. European, European team, they are changed style of the game. They are start to play with a four player on the perimeter. That position four, they are start to be much more shooter. They are open the court and have a more opportunity to attack. And they have only one, one player inside and use much more pick and roll. That is the moment where, where basketball start to be changed. They are from a game, what, what play with a three outside that is uh, on the perimeter player. They are change a game with a four outside player and only inside player. That's meaning that game is a change that now we have a more space on the perimeter for a, for a player to, to play the game. Also, something happened by rules in the United States. That is, uh, rules, they say, in this period of the time, 2005 or 2006, I cannot tell exactly, they are not allowed anymore hand-checking. Hand-checking meaning that when your uh, your opponent have a ball, my hand, my hand is uh, on the on the body on the body of uh, of uh, defender, and that is uh, forbid. And then immediately they are again uh, raise uh, number of the points, and the guard start to dominate. That is also what I tell the rules. Rules all time they give a new new uh, support of the game to be changed and we have to find a way how we will how we will change game they are also that is uh, now you for sure you know what is the houston houston is the coach d'antoni coach d'antoni was the one of the best point guard in the europe american what well, they ca came to the italy and play in italy and then he was the one of the best point guard point guard in, uh, in uh, Europe. And after that, he is back to the United States and then become the coach. And then uh, American people say that he also, what, what we are talking about this, he changed the game. When he take out position five, he, he is uh, move uh, power forward. That is the player what actually, they are playing more close to basket, ready to go rebound ready to all time running first in a fast break. He changed this player from a position four. He moved him for a position five. And man from a position three, Sean Marion, 
he moved from a position three to the position four, and he opened court. And they say, in America, they say that he is a very revolutionary, very emotionally changes. But after that, in a new, new time of the basketball, they are, they are uh, make a game with a five player, with a five player on the perimeter. Ankush, can you show the, that's what meaning their coaches can, can see, no, go down, that is, that is, uh, you can see, that is uh, five out or four out. That is a formation with a four player on the perimeter and one player inside. What is, I really uh, advise on the way when we are playing 15-19, that have to be this style of the game. That is very modern in a youth basketball, but also in a senior basketball, very, very common, 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 uh, common uh, pattern. That is a four player, that is pass, cut, and different option. And another one, if you can show that is a five outside, No, that is a transition. I think I sent you one five outside. No, that is a back line. Okay, no, no matter. That is uh, what number five will not be will not be near the basket. Number five have to be have to be outside. That is outside, and then also give a. That is uh, uh, you have to see four and one. That is a spacing between players. When we are when we are make a four four and one spacing spacing that is how far away player from a player that is uh, that we have a more than seven meter and that is not easy for a defense to help because if you help we talking help recover if you help immediately they will come come shut. And then we can uh, we cannot uh, we cannot helping too much. That is uh, give a great opportunity for a penetration. And what I say that is uh, another very important point. What is the change a game is uh, is a pick and roll and then good spreading and three point three point shot. Today you cannot play if you don't have in a team three plus or four three point shots. You have a lot of five men that shoot very good uh, three point shot. And then during the, this period of the time, position of the center is a pretty change. That uh, center is not heavy, is not slow. Center today is uh, somebody who very good running, running around the court. Somebody who is very good role from a pick and roll. Somebody who know to pass the ball, to move without the ball. Today, center is very mobile. That's meaning that he is a gigantic center. What is a 7-5? That he is a center. What he is a losing, losing on position in the modern basketball. Today, center is a 6-9, 6-10. What is very mobile, what understand the game, what to move, what can shoot a three-point shot who is ready to fast open and to be almost like all other, other players. What I say, that we have a point guard, but next four players, they have to be very skilled. He can play with the back to the basket. What is uh, before was the main purpose of the big guy. Today, that is not main purpose to play back to the basket. It's very good if you can play, but he needs to be very much in organization of the game. He must be very fast to make a pick on the ball, to roll from this pick and open other player. If you somebody help that, uh, that uh, can uh, do this. Ankur, can you give a pick and roll game? That is, as I say about the pick and roll, we will explain that he is a high pick and roll. And then you will see set, set play of the pick and roll. That is, you can see, that is, uh, that is a high pick and roll. And that is the first of the example. Uh, that is, you have a center, what is uh, coming on the top. And then you have, a, you have a three player, what is on the perimeter. 
that is the same example because I take uh, not only one example. I, I, I take uh, more example just to show what what meaning what meaning uh, meaning pick a role, especially in this situation that that show show position. And coach explained that is a two player. They are play play this in this situation, but also other players need to help. They need to help and make uh, make uh, good spacing that nobody can can help. That is a lot of example, and that is the way how we are set to pick. How we are set to pick. How guard has to prepare. That is very much synchronized uh, uh, action between uh, between two players. See with the angle how we will make a good angle of the screen. Their defense have to go over the top. If you go go defense under the, they will be late. And after that, you will see reaction from a from a other player. You see, it's also very similar. You have a one player under the basket, will will which going in a moment of screen, they will going out. I take only one example, that is a pick and roll, pick and roll in the middle, but pick and roll can play on the side, pick and roll, they are called side pick and roll, pick and roll can play on the 60 degree, what is the most common pick and roll, what's, uh, what happened in a game, and then most what, what's a change a game, that is, a, that is a option from a pick and roll, they are change a game of the basket. And then give a change of profile of the player. Before center, play under the basket. And we are expect to give him a ball under the basket, stay. But what is the problem? When, when center play under the basket, all the time, some defender player is around him. And then we are limited our space where we can penetrate. On the this way, when center coming out, that is a lot of space behind us. And we can play on the this way. And that is the reason why I want to talk about pick and roll as the one of the most dominate, dominate. And then pick and roll open a lot of other opportunity. What is the cutting to the basket? Because we have a deep opportunity, but also, also pick and roll uh, push that we need to have a very good uh, shooter. That is a three point shot. What is uh, start to dominate? Dominate, uh, dominate in a basketball. Good three-point shot is uh, can coming from a pick and roll, but also coming from a different, different option. We have a, to have a more opportunity, not only pick and roll, because today pick and roll is. A, but we have a isolation. We have to uh, push the players to play off the screen. They are be ready to to play off the screen, and then combination of the all of this situation what we have we have to create a game that is a modern game of the basketball first of all what we are need and then what is the reaction of the good offense and then what the offense do that is uh, the defense is the change defense is the change and Ankush you can go to the another part another part that is the puck line puck line defense Backline defense, that's meaning as soon as possible, we have to come back in a defense. That is a transition defense. We will give an option of, about this. That is not pack line. That is a, just give a, give a picture of the pack line. And then this picture of the pack line. Pack line. Okay, very good. You can see. That is, uh, that is uh, we need as a coach, coach to use line. Because when you are playing home, we can say we have a 30% advantage about orientation. We are oriented about situation on our gym, uh, orientation about the lines, orientation about the basket. That is our orientation. 
And then to help the player, we will make a special line. Also, in, a, in a, our training camp in Vidya Nagar, we have also a puck line. What help us to explain the player what we want from them. This puck line defense, what is the idea about the puck line defense? Puck line defense, they have to pack the player more close to the basket. And then only one player going outside the puck line, that is the player who will play against, uh, against the player with the ball. All other players have to be inside this, this line. I will next year organize about the defense and then speaking about the defense, and especially I will speaking about the puck line defense. That is very mobile defense where you have a close out, their player without the ball have to fast run, and another player by position, they have to help them. That is, that is something what we need. Can you go next one? You have a rules of the puck line. That is uh, next one, uh, yes. That is the rules of the puck line. You have the puck line rules. We need to really close under the basket. Here is not a four corner. What is under the basket? Where is the position five? That he needs to be very close inside, inside the basket. And we don't like to ball coming to the, this area. And then no pass from the top. That is, we have to secure this. No baseline drive. When you are, when you player receive the ball, he cannot dribbling to the baseline. We more want that he dribbling to the top, to the, to the middle. We will not open. And then sprint and help. That is the meaning. When ball change the position, you need to sprint and be ready to be in the position. Close out can high because we are far away. If you see position five and three, if you ball coming to, to them outside, we need to sprint, really sprint. But I'm sorry that that is a lineup, lineup, five outside player. You see, five outside player is on the perimeter. That is a 5 0 offensive position. And then you see player number one, number three, number five, number four. Everybody is inside this puck line. And then, for example, if you ball in this moment going to the number five, we are called this close out. Number five needs to sprint and to close number five on the way they are not letting him to go baseline. And number three immediately by ball moving have to be in a position to be ready to help. And all other players need to be in a position to help. And then you have a other what is, but we will talking, we will talking about, uh, about, uh, about uh, this way that be ready for today basketball. I talking very, very often with the coach Zoran. And Zoran say, today we have a talent for a basketball. But coach Zoran say, if you are going in a gym and you are do gym daily and you have, a, you have a parameters, you are tall and then pretty mobile, you are ready to play basketball. Maybe you are not talented, but if you are ready, to going in a gym and you make your body ready and packed for a basketball, you are you are ready to play basketball. And that is uh, that is uh, something what is also very important trend that we are used not only basketball court to develop. If you remember when I talking about youth, that is uh, strength conditioning. Strength conditioning have a lot of options, but that is uh, gym is uh, one of the very important points. That is the lift weight. And then I said biological age from a 14, it's ready to start because with the 18, 19, body have to be packed that can play top level basketball that I can 40 minutes ready to sprint, to stop, to change direction, to jump, to, to shoot well, to control ball well. First of all, I have to physically be ready for this. And then we use a lot of Lot of and then insist to player is ready to coming ready to the, to play basketball and to teach a player their player have to prepare own body to prepare to working on the body to working before the sleeping 
to working with our own body, to make crunches, to make push-ups, that we are motivate our player to physically be better. Today, physical ability also is one of the most dominate, uh, dominate part of, uh, of the game. Now, penetration also. Today, we have a lot of contact. And now you will see on the, on the video how in uh, new rules is a jab step, but also how we use the contact that we can beat the player. That is a start in a dribbling, start to be very important part because pick and roll we can start from a dribbling but we also can start when player player catch a ball because we don't advise the player to dribbling 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 first thing when player receive the ball have to see what is the happen front of him to see other player that can pass and make a fast decision that is that is something what we are teach that's meaning player when they receive the ball and then then they, they can start from a disposition very fast, it can beat the player. You will see now that is, uh, can you put, uh, Ankush, can you put this one uh, too, now? Uh, which one? Uh, that is the penetration. Penetration, that is from my, my video. That is, uh, that you will see how player have to be very low, how has to use the body, how need to go straight to the basket, and that is a, something what have to take time. Lot of that player is ready to play to play alone. All this, all this, all this situation. You will see. That is a, some uh, clinic we had in Belgrade. That is uh, happened uh, after time when I went to the when I went to United States. And that is uh, something new. What I what I brought from there. Every time when you have a new information. We have to keep a little bit time that you are start to using because need a little bit that you are analyzed and then when you are fully sure you have to use you have to use this information. You will see that is uh, this what we are talking about jab step what is allowed and then I will tell the player that he has to make a contact with the player. He need when beat the man to go straight to the basket. Today penetration is not very long. Penetration happen close to the basket. If you're going very long, defense will help and will block you, or we will, you will not uh, do anything because defense also have a this mid circle under the basket, and they will really coming before you and then will stop you. And that is the way of the demonstration. Look, that is, and player very low, very low. That is too high, and then hip to hip. They have to make a contact. You see, that is a rip. We are ripping the ball. And in a moment, when we are pushed, we can lift up the feet. Tomorrow with the referees, we will have a rules tomorrow. We will talking about this, how we will implement it, this new technique together with the referee. That is a little bit better. You'll see, Blair have to go down, very down, to rip the ball. You have a three level, how we can start. We can start on the shoulder level, but in this way, uh, step can be very, very long. We can uh, start from a hip level, but also we can start from a very, very low level. See, that is from a one, from a one step shot. Short penetration, look. Any player going far away from a defender, you add ah, that is good. That is a good sample. Very close. Very close. Look, close, and they need need to make uh, need to make contact, 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 and then this contact can happen. You will see in a, some sample what we are. You see, that is how player hold the ball. He has to hold very very hard by hand. But shoulder and other need to be relaxed. He has to hold. If your grip is uh, strong, but shoulder and everything need to be relaxed. And that is a call from a triple threat position that we can start fast and shoot. Ankush, you can go another one. Another one. If you cut, 
that is uh, when uh, passed to the corner. From the same situation, now it's a combination of the technique. Combination, yes. And now they are a player. Player, because weak side want to help. Too much want to help because we, we have a ball side, weak side. And then player say on the weak side, this coach, what is in the middle, he say, he say, and then when he's ready to help, we have all time player on the opposite side, what they are ready, they can, they can shoot from the opposite side. And that is the quality of penetration. And then shot will coming. And then my penetration, same way, defense help, I will make a pass. You will see later on. Shot coming from a shot coming from a from a corner. Look, from a corner and player cannot going out. He has to receive the ball. Most of the time, player make a step back and then he is going out. And also, what I explained here, their player cannot make a three step when he is a pass the ball. And then pass needs to be very precise. Their player just put the hands, receive the ball, and then shoot. Look. Put the hands and ready to shoot. That is a drive and kick. In a terminology, we are called drive, drive, and kick. And then after that, we can make a combination. But now at the last one, I said importance of the three points. Importance of the three points. And then Ankush make a very good mix about... Uh, NBA, NBA player, one-on-one, -on -one, using contact, shooting three points. And that is uh, when we say we have to have a, have a lamb light, what we are follow, that is uh, something what we need, what we need, uh, need to follow. Okay, go, Ankush. NBA, NBA set. From NBA, that is the highlight, but that you will see a lot of. Precise three-point shot. Today, three points, unbelievably important. That is one of the all-time best shooter, Ray Allen. That is from a 101. Kevin Durant. Good ball handling. Take a defense out. Shot. You see, step back. Three-point shot. That is pick and roll. They want to switch, not want to switch. Player is back. That's coming handoff. Defender plays and immediately. That is also. Handoff is... Uh, in together with the back door, very important because all player is out. Look, in defense come from behind, not that hit second, they are late, open three point shot. That is a corner open. We also like to play this offense. That is a step back shot. Look, that is a step back, defense come out, and that is a very precise, very precise, precise and score. See, player, step back, have a hand, ball in a hand, catch, and take a shot. That is Luka Doncic. He is uh, only 19 years. That is also international player from Australia. That is uh, English. He's looking down. Defense think that he wants to dribbling. And he just take a shot, take a shot and shoot. 
that he is from one leg three point shot. But all these shots, player, player practice. And then you see that he is uh, with a Steve Carey from a dribbling, come to the corner. You see that he is a Houston. That he is a Houston. That he is a Houston. Play with a five, with a no, uh, with a five outside player. That is a famous fadeaway, Mike, Michael Jordan, uh, Michael Jordan move. But uh, that is uh, made by. A lot of shots, what you are see, practice or game, they are coming from a corner. Look, see, it's a Harden, Harden and uh, Harden and, and not to miss. That is a practice. That is a practice. You see, they are not missing shots at all. Ball coming, they are take. And then everybody can if you practice. I tell you, good NBA player, shooter. They are shoot around six, seven hundred three point shots, shots uh, a day. That is the continuity. They are, I think, they are, uh, they are, they, they play who will win. Harden in a situation with a step back. Also, he attack with a jab step, step back, three point shot. That is this situation. Coming front of him, defense lost. He make a dribbling back, between legs back, and then ready to be in a situation. Okay, Ankush can stop, and we need a board. That I want to say about in this modern bas basketball, how to set up our offense. What is the criteria? If you are talking about statistics, about the shooting. We know free throw shot is a shot with the highest percentage. It's a shot with a 70%, over 70% by team. We have a player who shoot, shoot uh, 90, 95%, 95, 95 free throw shot. We have a player, but team usually shoot 70%. We are talking about the team. Another best shot, is a layup shot. That is a shot under the basket. On the top level, we want, we are talking about park line. Park line not allowed that ball coming deep in a paint. They want that you are shoot over the main. Same. Three points or two points to shoot over the main. Level of the layup in a top level basketball per team is a 45%. Another. Three point shot. Three point shot from a corner. Coming almost same as layup. 45% is little bit on the top is a little bit around 40%. It's a different because a uh, three point shot from a corner is a more close and then def defense is a far away. That is the reason a little bit different. And then versatile shot in the basketball. Is a two point shot, mid range shot. That is a 28%. That is when we know that is analytical way what we want when we set up our defense or when we are set our, our offense. What we want in the offense and what we don't want in the defense. When we are playing defense, we want more two point shot and we want to challenge more three point shot and we want the less. Foul, and we we want to less less free throws. We will allow mostly two point shots over the man, but we want to control three point shots, and we want to control free throw shots to make less foul under the basket. Only when it's necessary and player is uh, straight that will score under the basket, 
we will try to make a foul and that that is the tactic that is the tactic what we will do as the tactic but that is a very good criteria and then if we have a time we will again back to speaking about uh, speaking about uh, statistics but i will want to finish with this that is uh, shortly to repeat what is the modern basketball that is today we are talking about analytics that we have to analyze to make a big picture what is what is the basketball and after that when we know this uh, i told that is uh, something what change a game that is a change pick and roll and then play 4-1 4-1 and then five out and then especially in this situation that is the spacing what we are create strength conditioning their player invest too much now in a strength conditioning they are ready for this what game expect of them that is this contact technique when we are penetrate that we are use this technique and then three point shot dominate dominate in a game in a game today and we talking also about a little bit defense that is the puck line defense and what i forget to tell what is also one of the most important thing in a modern basketball that is a transition defense and then in nba that is a lot of team not going with a too much player in a offense rebound some teams boston celtic when win a championship he is not going to the offense rebound immediately five player running back top level team immediately when shot is happen maybe going with a one one or two player and then immediately they are sent three player back back to the basket to protect the basket that the other team cannot score what we are say we don't want to lay up under the basket but also we don't want to really three point because in a fast three point three point shot is easy shot without defense and player with a high high percentage that is the reason that as soon as possible we want to come back in a defense establish good defense do not allow their easy score and then we will force their shoot shot what we want but not to shoot shot what they want and all time this this that is a game between offense and defense who will win in one period of the time now we are living in a time where dominate offensive basketball but maybe defense will find a way and again that is the dialectic between between defense and offense all time happen improvement and then we have an answer for other side i want to thank you first of all rakesh who is with me who who is make uh, who is help a lot that we can do also i want to help uh, ankush who is uh, all the night working to set up uh, this uh, this video not only last night that is a couple couple days uh, couple days uh, at at least uh, and thank you everybody who has the time and then want to listen i hope we will see tomorrow again we will talking tomorrow about the rules what is also very important for every coach because every coach is remember thank you very much any question anybody wants to ask question can raise their hands raj uh, yeah you can ask yeah good evening coach uh, yes Okay, I wanted to uh, just clarify on the pack line defense what you mentioned. So, isn't this the same man-to-man -man defense and help defense what you uh, uh, make the players play? Yeah, yeah, it's the same. That is the defense that as soon as possible we want to come back, come back to the basket to protect okay. the basket. We don't want that somebody so, shoot without defense uh, to the basket. They shot have to be challenged with a player who is in front of you. and then we want to help that you cannot penetrate to the basket we want to protect that make one wall front of the basket that you have to shoot and after that what i didn't tell that is uh, we need to box out we need to box out after that and then not let the two player to to come under the basket that is our area and that is a, a restricted area that we will not allow to offensive people to come Okay. Dinesh. Hi. 
you can ask yeah. good evening coach and this is dinesh from ongc thank yeah. you so much yeah. for your wonderful ideas and information about coaching my question is regarding team selection according to position oh. can you describe number of players should be selected according to their position okay uh if you remember i said uh, i divide basketball of the of the small small basketball and senior basketball and then this mid basketball that is uh, that we are develop player i will tell uh, finally selection you know finally selection how you are select you have to play with a three small player and nine nine uh, player what is ready to play on the perimeter if you have a one center or two center you need to have a two center that you can practice maybe three center but three center in a 15 but in a 12 you have to have a two center maybe somebody of the peri perimeter who is a position four they can play inside but also have to play on the position three but three three uh, guard or point guard what is uh, maybe in a size what is not limited because point guard i i tell before that is not limited side and then nine player what what will be on the position 2 till position 5 that is uh, that is uh, modern basketball what we are expect that we don't have a more than four inside player and then eight outside player five 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 seven i think is uh, too much they are inside player that is from a from a three inside and nine outside and then if you're talking about three point guard three point guard and uh, nine nine other thank you so much thank you i think we can Hello. finish today okay here we are here we are one last question yes Kamal, you have a question. Yeah. Yes. Uh, good evening, sir. Kamal here. So I have a question that uh, today we, as we learn about the analytics. So I am working as a uh, high school coach, and how we can use the same technology when we have a limitation of uh, so many things? Now, how we'll take stats of all the players, what they have done. Reason being, okay. when we go for the maths, so many pressures are there inside ourselves that we cannot. Uh, we need some different guy in that. that should use the stat and do the stat work how will do i will give you a simple idea all of you they have a mobile phone you will use the mobile phone in your practice when you are scrimmage and then you will analyze first of all your player because the information what you have to give to the your player that is information what will be analyze and give to them the best way to give information is a video everybody uh, believe what can see uh that explanation you have to be very good and then people to trust you if you want to explain by words you have to make a video and then when you are going to play some game before you will not play in tournament only one game or maybe you are usually play against team what you are play before you have to also to prepare your uh, substitute player they are ready to make a video and also you will tell from uh, from information what you are need what they will follow that meaning what is the main player in the team who shoot most of the ball on the which side they are going your player also have to be informed and then to be ready to make information and to receive information that is not only one day it will take a time but you you will prepare your player also that can doing if you don't have assistant coach their player will do this and then when you are playing game every time you will tell some player maybe who will not to play who is the youngest or somebody who will you have a passarella rule who is not playing that will make a statistic and you will make what you want from the statistics about on self about the opponent and then after the half time you have some parameter what you can tell the team and then also we will uh, we will we will do that we will speaking about what you have to tell the player before the game 
in a timeout what you have on the half time, what you tell after the game. But that you can go and tell something a player, you have to need a parameter and you have to collect this parameter. And then you will educate your player or some parents who is ready to come, how will, how will help you to give you this analytical information, but also you can do that you are with a mo mobile phone now. This, what we are doing now, we are doing by mo mobile phone. Mobile phone today is a perfect, perfect uh, technological uh, level. And then we can use for, a, for a everything, for a good information and back information for us and for others. Something else? Coach, one last question, one last question. Okay. Abdul, you can ask your question. Yeah. Yeah, good evening, sir. Thanks for giving a wonderful session. So my name is Abdul. I'm a school team coach. Yes. So my question is, yeah. uh, I have a team which I started three years before. Initially, they were they don't have fear to, they have a lot of fear to get the ball to play. But now everyone got the confidence to play the game. So now they are rushing to the one position particularly. They want to play point guard every time because they can more gel up with the ball so because they don't want to pass the ball to the other team. Because individually they have their confidence to play the game. So this is the main problem which I face in my team. So because most of the time others are not getting ball. I've been keep on telling them then uh, working on the transition also but it is not happening. What is the solution for that? Okay, that is... Uh, okay, you uh, every of us have to know that we cannot change everything from today to tomorrow. That is a process. And this process take, take, take a time. And during this process, we have to improve. All day we will not improve. But during the process, you will try to develop your player. For sure, their player is not same level, 100%. And maybe never will be same level. But what is the most important? That is the middle of the team you are made to the level that can answer what you want, what you want to do with them. You will have a weak part and you have an excellent part. But you have to, to try to develop this middle of the team. What is uh, essential of the team, they are, they are developed. Because the best player will live in from you. Somebody will, uh, will uh, make influence their, their, their change or weak player will disappoint him and leave. But uh, this nucleus of the team, they need to stay. And that is the reason why you have to invest in uh, this nucleus of the team and to develop, 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 develop. And then after that, all the players can respond. That is not from today to till tomorrow. But if you are continue to working, result will come in. Every, every work have to pay. That is 100%. And then when you are given more enthusiasm, as you are like more your player, as you are more organized, result will come. In. And then people will understand it. Thank you very much. I oh. think that is, uh, that is enough for today. Tomorrow we will back. Tomorrow we will have a, like a conference. They will, I will be somebody who will be Coach. conferencier. Yes. We will have on Thursday, I think. Thursday, Thursday we will have. Ah, Thursday. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No problem. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you very much, everybody. You will have. I hope that somebody from a group will be make uh, will make uh, this uh, briefing from uh, this one. We are helped so much for uh, this, and that help uh, coaches that uh, when coming next time they have a very good information what we did, and then uh, thank you again. Bye bye.